Hi, I'm Jack Julius with Black Bart International, and uh, we're going to do a little skirting demonstration today. Tommy was kind enough to uh, bring in some beat up lures, and uh, Misty's here, and so we're going to show you how to tie skirts on real quick. So this is uh, the lure head. Uh, what you have is a couple saddle areas on the back that you tie the skirts to. So what you want to do first is put the inside skirt in, you get the proper size skirt. Then you'll notice that there's a neck area and a head area. So you want that neck to kind of fit into that little groove. So to figure out where you're going to cut this skirt, I like to kind of line them up like this with the neck and the groove. And then I just eyeball the distance here, so I want to cut that skirt right about this area. So all you do is cut the skirt. And it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, just get it as close as you can to that distance. Then just turn the skirt inside out. And if you try to put the lure in, head in to the skirt without some kind of slip agent, it's hard to do. So you need to use something like pledge of furniture polish and we just spray a little pledge into the the skirt you take the head in hand you push down from the top up from the bottom just give it a little turn and you'll see that it just slides right on there real nice so now you want to tie the skirt and what we use for that is some 35 pound rigging floss this is a wax floss found on most boats you know, for tying baits and everything. So I just take this floss and I make a loop just like that. Then I wind over the loop one, two, three, pull it tight. One, two, three, pull it tight. And when you pull it, you don't want to pull it so hard that you're cutting the skirt. So that little loop we made right there, all you do is take the and you cut to go through the loop just like this. Pull it down, grab the other end and give it a pull and you'll notice how that loop is now closed. So what you've done is just created a simple whipping. So put the two together, just kind of cinch it up and I like to cut these at about a half inch to three quarters of an inch. So what happens is if you want to change this color all you have to do is pull either one of these strings and that line will come off there. So now you just pull down the skirt just like that. I like to give it a little tug just to make sure it's seated in good. You can align your lateral lines on the skirt with the head. Hang on one second. So my hands are full of pledge but you can So there's your first skirt. You see how nice it all transitions here. And you want to put that inside skirt on first. So now we're going to cut the outside. All you do is just kind of eyeball the distance and zip out about a three quarters to a half an inch. Cut the skirt just like that. Turn it inside out just like that and then use your slip agent. Now just spray it. The second when you put the outside skirt on you want to use a little more pledge because what you're going to do is take 100 percent of this skirt, put it down through the hole like this, and just kind of move it around. If you got a lot of pledge on it it'll just slide right down in. And I like to set this up in advance where I have my darker, just like a fish, you know, the darker part on top, lighter on the bottom. So I preset that. And you can see I'm just kind of holding this with my hand, so I just turn it upside down, grab it like this and give it a pull, and it slides right in place. And if you've cut it right, this is a nice transition where one skirt butts up next to the other one. So again the 35 pound rigging floss. All I do is hold it down with my thumb, make a loop. The loop could be as big as you want it to be and just wind over the loop. 
three times around, pull it tight. Three more times just to be on the safe side, pull it tight. So you have your loop. You just take your tag in, cut it, give yourself plenty. Go through your loop just like this, pull it aside, and then close the loop just like this. Put two together, just like that. Cut it about a half inch, three quarters of an inch. You can even make it longer if you wish. So once you have that done, now just take your lure, flip the skirt over, align your lateral lines, give it a nice tug, it gets it in there, seats real nice, and here you see how nice that all fits together. Now I like to trim the skirts, you'll notice you put they're both the same size, so one of them is hanging out a little more. So when I trim those, I like to trim it like a roof peak, kind of at an angle. This gives you, without really reducing a lot of length, so it kind of looks like this. Also thins it out right around the hook area. And there's your finished product. So now uh, we make uh, 36 different colors, so there's two skirts on each lure, so there's over a thousand possibilities as long as you don't lose this lure head.